folks, I'm Ian Baker, the product specialist with Camping World, and today we're going to go over the 2018 RPOD RP178. This is a nice little couples coach with a big U dinette right here in the front. The thing I like about this is it allows for uh, the, the owner of the camper to have guests and entertain, whether it's friends, family, whatever. Everyone can sit around the table here and have a good time. Plus, if someone wants to spend the night, the table does drop down into a bed and you have another bed where two adults can comfortably sleep. You'll also notice there's an electrical outlet here, so if you need to plug anything in, you have the capability of doing that as well. Windows flank both sides, allowing for good cross ventilation, and you have LED lights right up top there. You'll see right over here by the door, this is your entertainment center, so that way you can sit right here in u dinette and be able to watch TV. Hooked up to that is your multimedia center right up top. This unit is a CD and DVD player, so if you want to watch a movie, you can pop it right in there. It also controls the speakers in here as well as the speakers outside, and it is Bluetooth capable. You also have the King Jack TV antenna here. It's a low profile antenna. You don't have to raise it up or down. You simply turn it to find the best signal. Your slide room control is on here, as is your tank monitoring panel, water heater, and water pumper there too. And right down below the TV, you see you have some additional storage with the nets right here. If we take a look across the way, you'll notice that the kitchen is in a slide out. So it helps open the space up a little bit. Right up top, you have uh, this rail right here. It's a great spot to put some spices. Directly underneath is the convection microwave oven. So you can use it as a microwave. You can also bake in there if you want. Great space savings because it is a two in one. And underneath that is your Dometic fridge with a removable freezer section. So you can use this as a freezer or if you don't want a freezer, you just want more fridge space, you can actually take this whole compartment out and then you will have that as additional fridge. Right down below, you see some storage here as well. They put a little net in front and just uh, kind of utilizing the space down there. Now, if you take a look at the kitchen itself, you have the upgraded thermoformed countertops on here. Recessed cooktop with the glass cover and a sink top cover, so all of this is good usable space. When we remove the sink top cover, that will reveal the single undermount stainless steel bowl there with the high rise faucet. And as I mentioned, this just pops right up. This doubles as a backsplash, and right there is your two burner cooktop. As far as electrical outlets, you do have one hanging out right up here. So if you want to put your coffee maker right there in the corner, you can do that. Plug it in, you're good to go. LED light underneath there and some additional storage up top. It is strut supported for easy one hand operation. Right down below, just like any good kitchen, you have to have a couple of drawers and this one is no exception. So there's two full extension drawers, perfect for your silverware and then all your other larger utensils as well. Then you have a little bit of storage right here too. You may be able to squeeze in a small trash can or if nothing else, you can at least put your cleaning chemicals there. Uh, if you take a look right up top real quick, you will see the AC unit. Folks, that'll do more than enough to keep this unit nice and cool. The thermostat is right here. This will control both the AC and the heat as well. If we take a look right over here, this is the bathroom. So uh, this is a wet bath. So your shower pan is the floor. You'll see the toilet right there. In front, you have a sink. Attached to that is your hand wand. And so that will be used as your shower right there. Then if you take a look up top on the ceiling, you will see an LED light as well as a really big vent fan. That vent fan does a great job of sucking the moisture out of here. So that way your bathroom is dry. And of course you have the shower curtain you can close off so your door right here doesn't get wet either. You'll also see right outside the door there, you have some uh, robe hooks. I'd probably hang my towels there, but whatever else you want to use it for, you certainly can. And then right up here, you will see your bed, queen size bed. You have windows all the way around there. LED light right here up top. Right here on the wall, this is pretty cool. It's what they call an instant hanger. Basically what you do is you take this, kind of lifts up like so, and that way you have uh, some space to be able to hang up your clothes, kind of like a mini wardrobe. Now that we've seen the insides, take a quick look at the outside features on the RPOD 178. Starting off right up front here, you have a 20 pound propane tank with the cover. Pretty easy to get down in there. Just undo this thumb screw, lift the door, and you are in. Behind that, you see rails here for your battery. Directly underneath that is a propane quick connect. So if you want to hook up a grill, you have a spot in which you can do it. 
Coming up the front here is black diamond plating to help protect the front end from some of the rocks and debris that will get thrown up by your tow vehicle. And right over here is the light in case you are hooking up or disconnecting at night. Another cool thing about the R-Pod is the construction of the RV itself because this is one piece fiberglass construction from the front all the way up on the roof and down the back. That's great because less seams means less water intrusion. Plus, because of the curvature of the roof, the water naturally wants to run to the front and back instead of down on your campsite, and you don't have seams uh, while it's going in that direction for the water to try to get in. Right over here, you see nice big front storage area. Open that up for you. There we are. It is magnetic, so it just sticks up there. And if we take a look in there, you see that that is quite open. The great thing about the R-Pod is not only does it have this storage up here, but this floor plan has a big pass-through in the back I'll show you in just a minute. This right here is your entrance. One foldable step is all you need. This is a lightweight, low-profile RV. And then they put a foldable, easy grab handle on here, so that way you have good control when entering or exiting the RV. You see you have two outside speakers in case you want to listen to music outside. And again, those are connected to that multimedia center inside. However, that unit is Bluetooth capable. Right up above that, you see that uh, this one does have the connection for the cabana awning. And this is included. It's in the back there. And that's great, folks. It's basically like a big uh, screen-in tent. So that way you have the campsite. You can set up your picnic table and stuff out here and not have to worry about a bunch of bugs bothering you. If you look at the wheels, you have aluminum alloy wheels, absolutely gorgeous. They'll stay looking gorgeous because aluminum doesn't rust. And nitrogen filled tires, which should hold that tire pressure for a longer period of time. Right here is a black tank flush. That way you don't have to put a hose down your toilet when you're done camping. Just hook the hose up right here. The black tank has sprayers built in. It'll wash it out for you. Now if you take a look right here, you have a couple electrical outlets. Need to plug something in? That'll be the place to do it. As we come to the back here, open this up for you again that is magnetic and as I promised you can take a look in there that is a nice big pass-through storage so tons of outside storage on this small RV this big box right here is that cabana awning right outside here in the back is solar prep folks if you want solar all you have to do is buy the panels plug it in and it'll trickle charge your battery right here is your spare tire hopefully you never have to use it but in the event that you do it's a great peace of mind knowing it's riding right back here. It's really easy to get to, and the cover should mean that it will stay in good shape. Then right back here is the other side of that pass-through. It's just a door on the other side, but you can kind of see in there. And then as we move up a little bit further, right here is your fresh water inlet, your city water inlet directly beneath, and your termination right down there at the bottom. Lastly, you'll also see outside shower is right here on the slide that has both hot and cold water access. All right, folks, that wraps it up. Again, this is the 2018 R-Pod RP178. If you're interested in this travel trailer and you'd like price and availability, simply click on the link in the description below. Thanks again for watching. I'm Ian Baker, and let's go camping.